Hi guys, it's Jan. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to continue with my drugstore beauty series and I'm going to focus on lips today. So this was a giant haul in case you missed a couple of videos where I had a lot of drugstore products and I figured for the ease of filming and showing you guys, I would just break it up into categories. Sorry, I couldn't come back over the weekend. We were just busy with house stuff and kids and everything like that and sports events. So I am back today. Everyone is off where they should be and I am filming and I like to film when no one's around anyway it doesn't take time away from my kids and I feel like I can really be myself when my husband's lurking around I feel like he's listening to everything and I feel very distracted I know a lot of people are like that they don't like to film when anyone's around but anyway so that's me too all right so I'm gonna start with a lipstick that um, I should probably save the best for last. I'm going to do that. I'm going to save the best for last because it's my favorite lipstick from Revlon of all time. So I'm going to start with another one of my favorite lipsticks, though, and I picked up two when I had seen them because I just love this color, and it reminds me of Bobbi Brown's True Pink. It's Rimmel's number 103. It's the Kate Moss collaboration, and it's what I have on today. So I will come in so you can see. A real pretty, soft, rosy neutral kind of pink I love it uh, it's not as creamy as the Bobbi Brown creamy uh, matte lipstick by um, in the color rather true pink but it's a really close um, in terms of color and it's got a creaminess of course but you know the color wise it's really maybe a shade off but not by much so this is the color really really love this color and that's why I purchased two and it's always sold out so when I see it I try and grab two of them so that's what I did this time I actually have a third one going okay another one that I picked up that I've just used once and I want to use it a little bit more is the um, bombshell color by covergirl and I'm assuming it's with all those new bombshell products that came out this is the only one I have and it's number 327 and it is a very, very pretty, um, you know, bold kind of fuchsia color like I like to wear. And I think it's really, really nice. They're very, very creamy, I find, with these CoverGirl lipsticks. But definitely like a bluer based uh, fuchsia color. I really like that a lot. Another CoverGirl lipstick that I purchased and I've been using for a while, but I kind of got sick of it, so I kind of put it aside for now, is number 258 Honeyed. It's just a real pretty pinky nude goes with you know just about every eye look you can come up with and that's what I love about having my nudes in my collection but it is just a real pretty pinky nude hope you can see that right there okay um, two of the elf moisturizing lipsticks I purchased I purchased these at Target I like these I was reading um, Nouveau Cheap's email that I get and this one was the more popular color or the one that she liked the most. This one I picked up because it's really, really pretty too. It's definitely a soft salmon carnation kind of pink, if you will. They are moisturizing. And the only thing I noticed about them, this is the color, it's Pink Minx. The only thing I noticed about them is that when I swatch and what I did the first time is that the lipstick inside the tube moves a lot. So I feel like it's going to break at some point and that the lipsticks go back in, which is really annoying for me. But um, that is the color right there. It is really, really, really pretty. So I'm still going to continue to use it. I'm just hoping I don't break it. This one is a gorgeous color too. They really came out with really pretty colors. I don't remember the other ones that they have, but these are the two I went for. This is Rosy Go Round. Real pretty soft rose. And again, same thing, kind of feels like it wiggles in the tube. Not as much as the other one. Um, so I'm just hoping that they last, but that is the color, Rosy Go Round. And you can build this up too. It's not as pigmented as like the Milani lipsticks are, which I have two of those, but it's a nice formulation. Okay, so I picked up the NYX Butter Lipstick in Razzle Fiesta, uh, Razzle Fiesta, and it is, again, a blue-based pink. This is really, really nice. I think I did have another of the NYX Creamy Lipsticks like this, the Butter Lipsticks, very aptly named, but you could see, um, you know, the undertones in that, but really, really pretty. I do like these colors on me. It makes my teeth white, whiter. Another one that's definitely a blue based pink, actually, I think it's called Blue Pink, Blue Rose, number 405, is from NYC, the Expert Last line, which I never purchased before, and I purchased this at Target. 
So that's what that one looks like. Got a couple of dings in it already, but um, it's a real pretty color and very, very evident of that blue undertone right away. But really, really pretty. So you can consider this and these like to be statement lip colors. Another one that I have here, which is definitely a statement lip color, it's a Revlon Super Lustrous Cream, number 435, love that pink. It is a real pretty color, but it is very, very bold. It's very bright at the same time. It's not for the faint of heart, um, but looking at it in the tube, you wouldn't think that, but wearing it, it's definitely like, I don't know if I would wear this with a smoky eye, I would definitely wear this with a neutral eye, or a very, very light smoky eye. So it's just, um, it says, love that pink is the name, but I would definitely say it's got a very heavy undertone of coral in it. But it is still really, that's the color right there. Really, really, really pretty. But when you're wearing this full on from the tube, it's definitely a statement lip, but really pretty color. Another one that I was a little disappointed in is number 820. It's from their Shine formulations. You can see even just with the tag, it's very, very um, shiny. And number 820, Pink Cognito. Real pretty color, a little bit of a letdown. I loved it. I thought that was going to be really one of the prettiest nudes I can own. And it just really lacks a lot of pigmentation. And the other thing is, too, it slides back into the tube as well. And I really have to apply this with a little bit of a heavy hand in order to really see it. But eventually the color starts to go back into the tube. It is very, very sheer. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it. But if you like that kind of color, you might really, really like this. But it is still um, a little too sheer for me right now. But I do love it. I think it's a very pretty color. I just wish it was a little bit more pigmentation. Okay, showed you that one. Two Milani colors. This one I really, really love. I really like the Milani lipsticks, as you guys know. They're incredibly pigmented. They're very, very fragrant, very fruity flavor, um, fragrance. But, um, and that is off-putting for a lot of people, and I can understand why. But when I wear it, even though I don't mind the smell putting it on, the smell wears away. I don't smell it on me afterwards, but some people do. It's number 27, Dulce Caramello. Really one of the prettiest nudes I've come across in a long time. It's got that, you know, kind of pearl finish. Really, really, really pretty. I really like this. It goes with um, a lot of my lip liners. Really, really like that. It looks like it's almost like a brownish nude, but yet, um, and I guess I, I would say it is, but it's almost like such a natural lip color nude. Like this is the color of people's lips, and it's just so beautiful. It really is. So I have been really enjoying Dulce Caramel. That one I kind of, you know, it was kind of like a whim, but I really like it. All right, this one I really love, I can tell you, but it's really, you know, packed with color. Number 33, Rose Amore by Milani. I love Milani. I gotta do a Milani lipstick collection. And it is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this color. It's it right there. So pretty. And I love Milani lipsticks. I think I've said that enough times already. Okay, and then my favorite lipstick from Revlon is the Perfect Berry Lipstick. This is what I call the Perfect Berry Lipstick all year round. It's perfect for winter and fall where you would wear those wine colored lipsticks. This works. And for spring and summer where someone, instead of just like always having like this for summer, I love to wear the wine colored lipsticks and it works perfectly because you know, you, when you think of that color in the summer, you think of strawberries and raspberries. Well, it's the same color. So it really works for summer as, as well. So it is number 510, you've probably heard me talk about this before, Berry Rich, and it is the perfect berry lipstick all year round for me. But I would really say that, I would just definitely say it to anyone. You want the perfect berry lipstick and this is it. Love this color. Uh, you know, it depends on your skin tone, but to me it works perfectly all year round. Absolutely gorgeous color. I mean, you could see that working all year round, I think, for a lot of skin tones. Maybe not, obviously, very, very dark skin tone, but definitely from light to olive, I think it works really, really great. So that is very rich. I love this. And for the longest time, I thought this was discontinued because I couldn't find it anywhere. And then I found a CVS where they had a whole bunch of them. So I purchased this one. I still have one that I kind of was afraid to use anymore, but now I'm going to go back and purchase at least two more. And I think these run about eight, nine dollars. I guess it depends on your drugstore. Anyway, between nine and ten. Um, eight and ten I would say 
Very rich though. My favorite Brevlon lipstick color ever. So that's it guys. Those are my drugstore lipsticks that I purchased in the last, you know, few weeks to last month and a half or so. So I hope you enjoy this. I do have one more installment of the series coming out and it's going to be on skincare, um, like face products, concealers, a couple things from Muji that I purchased a while ago that I've been using that I really, really love. And what else do I have in that? Um, and a couple of beauty tools, like brushes that I want to share with you guys that I got inexpensively, but they're really great brushes. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I will see everyone very, very soon. Bye, everyone.